Hi, I'm Kelly, and these are my sisters, Nancy and Karen. We love to travel, but you know, the lockdown has put a hiatus on travel. So for Christmas this year, we Vlogmas. are doing Vlogmas this year. So join us every day this month up until Christmas as we try treats from around the world and bake different countries' traditional Christmas goodies and make Christmas with crafts. Nancy, with Christmas crafts. Yeah. And talk to people from all over the world. We're so happy you're joining us. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. Yeah. We're trying some snacks from Ireland today. Ireland. Ireland. <laughs> Not Ireland. 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 <laughs> We're gonna start with a tea and brown bread and currants. Current Cur jam. Jelly. Yeah, Cur current jam. Jam. jelly jam. Is there a difference between jelly and jam? Tell us below. Doesn't jam have fruit in jelly doesn't? I don't know. That's or I wouldn't have asked. When I was in Ireland, there was this lady named Nula. And in my head, she was so old. I'm sure she wasn't. Oh, I was going to get the She's Christmas card. I was going to get the Christmas card and show you the Christmas. I saved it all these years. The Christmas you can card. Put it in. Yeah. I'll put the picture. picture of it in. She was doing the dishes at this big house that we were staying at. And I went up and I said, hey, would you like me to help you? Would you like some help with the dishes? And she's like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm like, are you sure I can help you with the dishes? Oh, no, no, Kelly. No, no, no. So then I asked one more time. Nula, are you sure you don't want me to help you with the dishes? Oh, I ne thought you'd never ask. <laughs> what is that? Ask her three times? Three times. To, oh, wait. Three times? I had to ask her three times before she's like, yeah, sure, sure, you can do the dishes. And then the funniest part is the whole time I'm helping her do the dishes, she teased me like crazy. Oh, your mom never makes you do the dishes, does she? You probably just sit on the couch all day and do nothing and you just go play and oh, oh, oh you don't do dishes. Do I mean, it was so funny. So whatever that crack, is it called giving them the crack? Crack or not the crack, but <laughs> giving them crack, teasing. I don't know. Well, I, I, I guess she liked me. <laughs> she always, she always said, you look the most Irish out of all of the kids that are here. You, and I'm like, no, 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 no I'm not Irish. I don't have a lick Scottish. of Irish. I'm Scottish. And I didn't think I had any Irish. Turns out we have tons of Irish. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. <laughs> Let's try the tea Let's and toast. Let's try the tea and toast. So we're going to try brown bread, Kerrygold butter, and Abbey Farm black currant jam. Let's go. We have our toast and jam and our Irish tea. Ready? Gluten-free brown bread. Pretty good. Mm. There are seeds in it. Oh, there is. I don't really like the tea. <laughs> the tea's my favorite part. <laughs> I did have some gluten-free Irish soda bread, but, but it went off. It, it went moldy. It went moldy quick. I must have done something wrong. I'm sure it's my fault. I probably should have stuck it in the freezer, and I didn't. So no Irish soda bread today. Bummer. Oh well. Oh well. We have lots of other. We do things. have lots of things to try. Oh my goodness, so many things. It's under here. So I found some gluten-free Jaffa cakes and I was beyond excited. So excited about these. Well, let's try those. Let's try the Jaffa cakes. Is that what a Jaffa cake supposed to look like? Is that what they look like? like? I don't know. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. What is that? It's like jelly or something. Just a second. Raspberry jam? 
You'll learn with me. Everything's raspberry jam. So, orange flavored jelly. Orange, raspberry. Gluten free sponge cakes with orange flavored jelly. Half coated in dark chocolate. All right. How about some tea cakes? Kelkin. Kelkin. Kelkin for, for Kelly. <laughs> it's a cookie with um chocolate. And I'm going to guess marshmallow. Marshmallow. <laughs> Mellow, marshmallow. Okay, I don't hate marshmallows. I just don't love marshmallows. <laughs> I think there might have been a slight marshmallow explosion on the trip over. <laughs> what in the world? I'm not trying one of those. Me neither. I draw the limit at exploded marshmallows. Alright, here we go. No. <laughs> That's going to be one Kelly tries all on her own. It's like a graham cracker with an exploded marshmallow. Yeah. With a melted exploded marshmallow and chocolate. Well, the chocolate would be all right. <laughs> How about something salty? Okay. Like cheese and onion potato crisps. I have no idea how to say that. Kyogs? 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 Nancy, you know what they call this over in uh, Britain? What? What do you call these? What are these? Onion chips. Chips! You know what they call them? Chip. Chip. They call them crisps. Crisps. Isn't that funny? Yeah. <laughs> we call them chips. They call them crisps. Mmm. Are really, really, it's almost like a kettle, a kettle chip. It tastes like, <laughs> like chips in your pizza. I think Karen just stole them from us. Those are delicious. Like the real chip, you took the chip like that. Those are good. And finally, I guess Christmas isn't complete without a Cadbury rose box in your stocking at, in Ireland. Mm. Crisps and chocolates. Can't mm. go wrong. It's a scrumptious bunch of chocolates. We got some chocolates. I don't think Karen wants a hazelnut. No. Oh no, they might all be hazelnut. Oh, here's a dairy milk. <gasps> and it looks like a jug. That's cute. <gasps> it's a rose caramel. 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 These are so pretty. Here. These are so pretty. Watch. <laughs> now it'll be easy to Who's see. Who's the 10-year-old? <laughs> we have <gasps> strawberry cream. Oh, that'll okay. be Nancy. Okay, here's your strawberry cream. <laughs> a dairy milk. <laughs> hazelnut whirl. A golden barrel. <laughs> what is a golden barrel? Country fudge. My goodness, there's everything under the sun on, in these. Okay, I think that's it. Did I do a blue one? Just a caramel. Did I do caramel? I want the caramel. You can have the country barrel. Okay, I'm gonna eat the country barrel. It looks like a barrel. What does yours look like? A Just truffle. a truffle. Alright. Mmm. <laughs> I have caramel in it. Mmm. This is like a Milky Way. Mmm. No, I don't know. I might need to try another one. <laughs> Let me see about this one. Actually, this tastes exactly like a Twix without the Twix in the middle. I mean, it tastes exactly like a Twix without the, the cookie, cookie in, in the, the middle. middle. All right. Well, that's all the snacks we have for Ireland. Ireland? <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. I don't know. I just know I went to Starbucks one Christmas. <laughs> No, the everybody was fighting and I went to Starbucks. Hmm. We went to Starbucks, Diane. Did we do it right? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Didn't she say that they put Irish whiskey in everything? She's that she's that uh she's that Irish blogger, right? She's an Irish uh YouTuber. I wrote her and asked her what an Irish Christmas was like. 
And, and she says and she, whiskeys and everything? Well, she got back with me and she, she directed me to this one of her videos. Oh, she got it. She said, hey, you could share this. So anyway, here, here, check it out. Okay, so Christmas in Ireland. Do you think it's very different than Christmas in other countries? Definitely. Like, for, for instance, I'm just going to go straight off the bat here and say my dad had a Christmas tradition of drinking whiskey, Jameson whiskey, every single Christmas morning. Wow. And he still does to this day. He's still alive, by the way. That sounded like that. We used to leave whiskey out for Santa. Whiskey? So I, yeah. I think perhaps the same tradition was met in our house. Yes, actually. In a different yeah. way. Yeah, I think alcohol is a big... Alcohol. But like, there'd be alcohol in everything, like in the cake. There'd be alcohol yeah. on the turkey. On the turkey, yeah. How about the amount of whiskey that went into that cake? Oh, that Diane's mom makes? Well, it wasn't Diane's mom's recipe. It was a recipe that I found that I made. Oh, all right. So we had a, a lot of whiskey in our, our, our Irish uh, Christmas cake. I guess that's that's a normal thing, Diane. Another thing we do at Christmas in Ireland is the nativity scene. Yeah, but is that just in Ireland? No, I think they do it in other countries as well. I'm hoping to go to a nativity when I land in Spain. I think it's a nativity. Actually, it might just be a Christmas show. Nativities are gassed though. Like yeah. the way they dress the kids is is crazy. But nowadays, right, I was at a nativity my son's nativity yesterday. And all the kids had pure 3D I know film, film like outfits. When I was a kid and my first role ever in the whole world, which led me on to a career in front of a quite people on stage. Career. Oh yeah. Right, right. Uh, was uh, Innkeeper's wife number two. How many wives did he have? <laughs> Did you have my own wife? I think there were two innkeepers. <laughs> oh, I hope so. Well, we were very excited to have towels on our heads. The mother yeah. used to get a towel and put it on your head with a rope. And you were excited. It was the best thing ever. You were so excited to get a towel on your head. So, do you remember the time I played innkeeper's like wife number oh, two yeah. or three? It was the time you wouldn't open the door. I wouldn't open the door. I wouldn't open the door at all. I, uh... I was too what? scared. I was like seven or eight. Right, right. And uh, Grandma, Grandma Cookie. Yeah. She got out to come watch me. Oh, yeah, I remember that. She was not happy. <laughs> and it was such a cold, yucky night that night. And uh, uh, she's like, that was it? That's it? Uh-huh. <laughs> and, yeah, I, I just wouldn't open the door. Jesus, you didn't have a place to be born. Sorry. <laughs> not there. <laughs> not at my inn. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. I'm going to make an Irish Christmas cake. You have everything in it but the kitchen sink. There's so much that's going to go into this cake. I am so excited. Can't wait to go. Let's get started. I'm going to combine the first five ingredients in a bowl and set aside. And the first five ingredients are dried currants, golden raisins, candied orange peel, candied lemon peel, and some chopped pecans. There's so many ingredients, I have nowhere to put my bowl. Ah, let's see. <laughs> um, humana, humana, humana. Okay, two cups of currants. Now currants, currants is something that we don't really have much here in the states i remember when i was a kid and i got to go to ireland ireland i'm working on it i know it's not ireland it's ireland the first time i tried currants uh we were staying in galway sort of on the outskirts near a lake they oh, i'm so funny i was such a dorky little kid i'm sure they had a toaster but instead of using a toaster they put, there was a bunch of us. So I'm sure they were like, there's too many people. We're going to use a cookie sheet. We're going to put the bread on the cookie sheet and put it in the oven and toast the bread in the oven. I remember getting, coming home and going, mom, they, they toasted their toast in the oven. We don't do that here. <laughs> but, um, they had black currants and red currant jelly or jam and they smeared that across the the toast for us and then they made some tea and oh this was funny too because I had I had always had iced tea we never really drank um hot tea we didn't that wasn't a thing that we typically did we had sun tea mom would uh fill up a big uh 
glass, I don't know what you call that, like pitcher? It's not a pitcher. Jug, it's closed, it has a little thing at the bottom where you can push and the stuff comes out, I guess it's like a jug. <laughs> anyway, and she'd fill that up with water and uh, the tea bags and sit it out in the sun and we'd get sun tea, but we never had, um, we never would drink hot tea. <laughs> they were showing me, they'd get their mug, they did the, you know, the right way to brew a tea and then they put milk in it and I was just shocked. I'm like, you're putting milk in your tea? How gross! But I loved it. And that was another thing. Not only did I come home like, oh, they toast their toast in the oven. I was like, they put milk in their tea. Anyway, that's the first time I uh, ever encountered currants. Two cups of golden raisins. A fourth of a cup of or candied orange peel and candied lemon peel. Pop that up. Set this aside and chop up my uh, orange peel. Uh, let's add it to my fruit mixture. All right, then I add a fourth of a cup of Irish whiskey. Triple distilled Irish whiskey. Fifth of a cup. Glug, 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 glug. All right, let's go ahead and stir that up. Get that all mixed in. Cover it, put it in the fridge. Let it do its thing overnight. I had to get Irish butter for my Irish Christmas cake. So I have some Kerrygold Irish butter. It takes two sticks, so a whole cup. And then you're just gonna cream the sugar and the butter. There we go. Got my firmly packed cup of brown sugar. And let's just cream those. There we go. And it calls for six eggs and you add them one at a time and beat after each addition. Okay, I need two cups of flour. One. I just did it. Two. Two cups of flour. <laughs> One, uh, 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 two, uh, half a teaspoon of allspice. I'm going to do a full on teaspoon of cinnamon. And half a teaspoon of ginger. Half a teaspoon of salt. And slowly add this in. And it calls for a tablespoon of lemon juice. And I forgot to put the nuts in with all the fruit yesterday, so I'm just gonna put it in now and then add my fruit. Okay, now I have my spring form pan with, um, it's my cheesecake pan, with the parchment paper lined in. I'm going to put my mixture in my pan, cover my pan with uh, aluminum foil, aluminium foil, <laughs> shiny side up, and put it in a 350 degree oven for half an hour. And then I take the foil off and bake it for an additional two and a half hours at 275. Look at that. Before it goes into the oven, Okay, there we go. Now I need to take the cake out of the oven. It's been in there for half an hour with the foil on it. Take it out, take the foil off, and then bake it at 275 for two and a half hours. All right, now that our cake has cooled, let's go ahead and open it up. Take it out of this. Now take it and I prick the cake and I put a half a cup of the Irish whiskey in it. Oh. It's 
spilling all over my table. Ah! I think that's all it can drink today. Let's get a towel, clean that up. So there we go. Now it's got a cool and I have to put marzipan on top and some kind of icing stuff. <laughs> Doesn't look like my normal frosting. It's like this stuff you roll out and stick on top. There we go. I'm going to glaze the cake with some apricot jam. Okay, so I have my marzipan out and I'm supposed to roll it out and then drape the cake. Now I'm going to make my icing. I'm going to do an eggless uh, royal icing. It takes two cups of powdered sugar, four teaspoons of corn syrup, four to five teaspoons of water, Should we try it? <laughs> um, let's try it. <laughs> well, ta-da! <laughs> let's see what I can do to fix that. my Irish Christmas cake. <laughs> so did I do it right y'all or uh, not not quite so much. Let me clean up my workstation and you know, show you what it looks like in just a sec. All right I got my workstation all cleaned up and I'm thinking I'm gonna put a sprig of holly in my cake. There we go my Irish Christmas cake. Now let's see what uh, my sisters think. Oh wow that's really pretty too. <laughs> You gotta open your own shop. Ooh, that's a dense cake. <laughs> How about just a little sliver? Yeah, a little bitty slivers. I ate the fun. <laughs> okay. Mm. Raisins. <laughs> Raisins. This is really pretty though. Oops. This looks nice. Hey, where'd you learn to do all this? TV. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, YouTube, YouTube videos. You my teddy bear. Yeah, it's oh, a cute Christmas you shirt. Have a teddy bear. On. You ready to try this? Sure. Okay. One, two, three, go. Well, yummy. Yummy. I didn't think I'd like it. It's delicious. Even the marzipan. Yeah, that's pretty good. I love that. Merry Christmas.